contemporary artist Milo Freeman decides to share her knowledge of book illustration with students from the School of Art and Design at the Yaba College of Technology, Lagos. If you have some pencils and paper with you, I wanted to give you a little assignment and maybe we can go, you know, go over them together. We'll see how much time we have left, but that would be nice to see what you can pick up from my uh, little lecture. Students at the Yaba College of Technology get a rare opportunity to learn the art of illustration. Children's books are used as the example, and the tutor is full-time writer-illustrator Milo Freeman, who grew up in The Hague and lives in Amsterdam. She has published over 50 picture books, the most popular being the Princess Arabella series, which has been used to show that dark-skinned girls can be princesses too. Bridging racial lines and that drive to tell personal stories is the inspiration she needs and shares with these budding artists so they can understand where every art begins. Whether you do sculpture or painting, everything starts with inspiration. And for me, a lot of inspiration comes from my childhood, from my direct environment, you know, my family. I made a lot of, sto a lot of stories about my children. So inspiration, of course, is a very important thing. They go back to the foundation of art, not just the drawings, but the sketching, which should not be taken for granted. The form of the pictures is everything. So sketching is really important and you cannot start, you know, drawing your figures before the sketch is really good. So the sketching is really important. Then Milo reels out all the things to take note of before one begins illustrating, leaning on her own experience and how it has shaped her works. The correlation is displayed on a projected screen. The picture on the left is a, is a childhood picture of myself with my teacher, a teacher I really loved and all the children really loved her. And as you can see on the other pictures on the right, I, I, whenever I paint or whenever I illustrate a teacher, it's always the same teacher. It's the teacher from my childhood because she was so dear to my heart. After that, it's important to develop a character. And you know, Princess Arabella was also first a girl, a, a picture I uh, clipped out of a newspaper. And after that, I made her like a real character. Like this image of her making her daughter's hair and how she interpreted it with her art. Here's a drawing from a book that's coming out with Cassava Republic next year, and it's about natural hair. And here you can see also the mother and the grandmother. And you can see the difference also in proportions, how I drew the heads of the, uh, of the characters. For Milo, when drawing children, there's no right or wrong. Some features may look out of sorts, but it all comes together in the end. And when you draw, for example, um, a scene outside or inside, you have to think almost like, a, like I wrote there, a landscape architect, you know, where to put the trees, the road, where, where does the sun go, and also like an interior designer because you have to think of nice furniture. You know, you have to think in a lot of ways uh, when, you, when you illustrate and also when you illustrate for children. Don't try to finish everything in one day or two days. Just, you know, give yourself some time, you know, put it away and then look at it the next day and so you have a fresh outlook and you can see, well, maybe that's not quite right or, you know, I have to change a little bit about that. While the students scratch at ideas and put what they have learned on paper. Okay. Oh, she's giving money to a beggar. Okay, really nice. Like a rich girl giving, yeah, I understand. Really nice. And the car and the expression. Very nice. I love balloons. Yeah. Very good. Also a bit like a cartoon, eh? Thank you. I saw some children's book illustrators, but I saw, also saw a few students who might be really good cartoon illustrators. So I would say, you know, if you feel, you know, from inside that this is what you want to do, don't give up, continue. Another contemporary artist, Adiola Balogun, is here to share his perspective on how to approach art. 
it's important for you to know your composition very well. And uh, when it comes to art, we're talking about creativity. You will discover that for you to be authentic, your environment matters because one way or the other, it will have an impact or impact whatever you're coming up with. Be it in music, painting, sculpture, whatever. This is just the beginning as far as I'm concerned for some of you that want to explore illustration, right? You can actually, you know, uh, delve into different aspects, be it children, adults, animals, whatever. And when it's over, the art teachers at the institution talk about why they decided to do this and the need to expose the students. We are actually not straight into just teaching our curriculum. We expand and we expose our students and their colleagues to some of the other things that are happening globally. globally. And so um, it's an opportunity for a school uh, like ours to uh, do this uh, because uh, we know that art is an international language and uh, so we want to speak it, we speak it internationally. This to show that we are not just talk in the school curriculum. We try to expose the students to the happening outside the school. And uh, the students are also commending the faculty for this because they are benefiting so much from it. For instance, the illustration will go a long way even to help them in their drawing classes. With this hands-on experience shared today, these students are expected to take the lessons that would help them understand their craft better. Until we meet again. And that's the line which was very popular on the Balamila show. It was really interesting, I tell you. He's our artist for this week. A bundle of talent who will definitely not be forgotten in a hurry. That's At House this week. You know where to find me on any of our online platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.